The massive pinnacles of Zion's Park, drifting through Utah's history in the Red Rocks, or even the high alpine meadows found in northern, southern, and eastern Utah. Tourism. That's our subject today on the county seat. Hello, everybody. I'm Chad Booth. Today, we are bringing you a show from a special location at the Utah Valley Convention Center as tourism officials from all over the state meet. We will be discussing during the show a little bit later some of the impacts that tourism has on local communities so that you see what the direct impact is of people coming from Japan or from Germany or from New York to visit Utah. But first, we want to give you a little background on where the dynamics of tourism are headed. You know, it used to be that you'd look at tourism and you'd go, okay, I want to get everybody to come to my location and not yours. And so basically, you had tourism bureaus working against each other. But that's about to change, as Malia Bascom is going to explain in our topic story today. Do you know what my favorite part of dinner is? Dessert banana cream pie to be exact. As the pie is passed around, everyone is slicing off as much as they think they can get away with. So sometimes there's not enough for everyone. At that point, someone will have to go without. Well, in Utah, we have 29 counties who all have great landscapes and attractions to show off to tourists. It's definitely more about partnership and helping each other than worrying about each other, you know, taking a piece of the pie. Because I think we all kind of believe in the more visitors there are in the state, the more visitors there are that will be going throughout the state and who will be experiencing what Utah has to offer. We often don't consider how people from other countries wind up in the beautiful and often remote corners of our state. Part of it is simply the beauty of Utah. It's not long stretches of the state before you reach something wonderful. There's something wonderful all along. And then you encounter all these great people along the journey and all these interesting cultural experiences. So it all just wraps up into one really great destination. While the treasures of the state do a great job of selling themselves, there's a little more required in getting the good word out about Utah as a destination. The Utah Office of Tourism is a part of the Governor's Office of Economic Development. Its mandate is simple. We're the main marketing arm for the state of Utah. It's important what the counties are doing to promote their areas, but it's also important to have an agency that promotes the entire state. And we're kind of the umbrella, if you will, and we promote the state at a 30,000 foot level, whereas our county partners can come in and tell people what they can do when they're within these counties. And the whole goal is to get people to stay that extra night, attend that extra festival, and contribute to Utah's economy. One of our most successful programs is our cooperative marketing program. And we work with nonprofit tourism entities around the state, including the counties, the destination marketing organizations within those counties, to do a 50-50 match with them to try to attract more out-of-state visitors to the state. The partnership with the state is really crucial because they do have the resources and they have some means in which to create a partnership to connect the dots, particularly when it comes to the international market. It's very, very expensive to market internationally. But the efforts made by the tourism offices go beyond bringing visitors. When people come here to visit, they see how wonderful it is, the quality of the life. They start to consider moving their business here. They start consi to consider even just relocating here for retirement. And those lead on to creating jobs, creating more retail, creating more um, real estate opportunities. It starts with tourism, but it leads to almost all aspects of community development. It's the collaborative efforts of the state that have placed Utah on the map, both as a destination for tourism and for those looking for a more permanent stay. For the county seat, I'm Malia Bascom. Thank you, Malia, for that report. We will discuss tourism, both from a standpoint of outside tourists, inside tourists, and some of the fringe benefits that come along with developing tourism here in the state of Utah when we come back on the county seat. We'll be back in just a minute. 
Let's be honest, you don't know much about Beaver County. Well, let me tell you about it. It's the birthplace of outlaw Butch Cassidy and inventor Philo T. Farnsworth. Some of the best skiing in Utah is at Eagle Point. You've got camping, Canyon Breeze Golf Course, Crusher and the Tushers, Beaver Territorial Courthouse, Snowmobiling, Renewable Energy, Pioneer Car Show, Squeaky Cheese, Ghost Towns to Explore, Best Water in the Country, Paiute ATV Trails, Old Frisco Kilns, Horse Racing, Hunting, Fishing, and it's a good place to live. Beaver County, mountains of fun. I could tell you more, but why don't you come and see it for yourself? Almost 45% of the oil produced in Utah, 7.8 million barrels, comes from Duchesne County. That oil feeds our state economy, provides job growth, and supports local business. Here in Duchesne County, we're working to make Utah an economic, cultural, and technological leader. Whether you're here for business or pleasure, Duchesne County will welcome you with open arms and invite you to explore all the beauty of the Uinta Mountains. Duchesne County, close enough for business, far enough to get away. Cedar City, Utah is home of the Tony Award winning Utah Shakespeare Festival. But did you know that we also offer a different kind of play? At the Prehistoric Museum, USU Eastern, there's no time like the past. Interpretive exhibits tell a tale of long ago. Observation labs allow visitors to witness the processes of preparation and curation and speak one-on-one -on -one with the preparators. Dinosaurs, Ice Age, and archaeology allow you to experience life 500 million years in the making. What happens in Utah's castle country stays with you.